This short video is about how to use your imagination and the imaginal faculty to help you get more into an absorbed state of mind. And I'm going to use the example of awareness of the breathing. So uh, there's a particular meditation practice called the mindfulness of breathing with four stages. And in the fourth stage, the object of meditation are the very subtle sensations that arise as a result of the breathing coming in and going out of the nostrils. So that's the sort of focus, you could say. That's the way uh, into the practice. So you're experiencing the sensations. <coughs> so you have the, the particular experience of the sensations and what you can do very quietly and very gently is ask the question, what's it like? So this is a metaphoric question that allows your imagination or your mind generally to kind of engage with it. Now, what can happen is that an image or a sense arises. So let's say, for example, uh, you might have a sense of froth on waves coming in and going out. So the froth relates directly to the experience of the sensations of the breath. Now this is actually quite important in this. It's not a sort of idea or fantasy removed from the experience. It's actually an image or a sense that relates directly to what is happening. But the mind is producing, as it were, a, a subtle counterpart uh, and in the form of an image or a sense. So it can be a sense of the froth of the waves or uh, the image of the froth of the waves. And in that way, you get a, a, an involvement of the mind into the actual object. Now, you can let the image go, and in that way, the mind still stays engaged with the object. So it's not as if that, then it becomes a meditation on froth. Uh, it's much more that the, a way of engaging the mind. And once the mind is engaged through a sense or an, an image, you then let the image go, unless it wants to carry on. If it has a life of its own, as it were, in relationship to the uh, sensations of the breath, then you just let it be there. Uh, this is, I think, quite a, an interesting area because what is happening here is that the mind is relating to the sensations of the breath. So in a way, it is the breath, but in the mind's terms. So in this way, you don't have to worry too much or question too much, is this the breath or is it not the breath? As long as the, uh, the sense or the image actually relates to what is there, then it's okay. And in that way, you, you get a fusing or an absorbing, a coming together, a permeation of the sensation, the physical sensation in the breath and the mind coming together. And in that way, there's a sense of absorption.